name is Charles here at JTEC, and we're going to go over some hydraulic valves, uh, particularly the difference between a three-way valve and a two-way valve, and some of their uses, what they might be used for, and some characteristics of both to look for. Now, why you want to know this in case you have to rebuild these valves, or um, if something is sticking, it's best to know the, uh, the operation of how they might work, so you know how to diagnose the system. Um, so if you come down here, you've got two types of valves. We've got, a, we've got a two position valve and on this side we have a three position valve. Now you're going to see more three position valves than you will two positions because within uh, heavy equipment you've got multiple ways to move. So you've got reverse flow, flow and reverse flow. And that's what a three position valve does. But on a two position valve it allows flow for one, it stays in neutral and then it turns on to, to allow flow. Now it's more it's simple but there's some characteristics of both. So this valve, if you look, it's just a solid cast piece of aluminum. Uh, this valve is actually solenoid operated, which just means an electrical operate. So you add electric charge, and it, tur it charges the coil and allows this sh the shuttle to move into the valve, push this copper rod out. Now what that copper rod does, is it actually engages the valve inside to on or off. So it's a push valve, uh, push solenoid so it actually engages the valve. So if you look, this has got two springs on it. These are return springs. This allows this valve to return to normal. Once this is de-energized, it'll always return to normal, wherever that position is. So two position valve, it turns on, and then once the valve is de-energized, it turns off. Now this type of valve would add, is like to operate a ramp or something along those lines where it just needs to go down or rather it goes down because of gravity and then it just needs to go up. That's what this valve would be used for. Um, some characteristics, the valve itself, return valves, also it has seals in it and O-rings. This goes in like this to the system to seal off the actual ducts, which is now it's stuck. Don't do that at home. It's just a trainer, so it's not really a big deal. And it's on both sides. So it's on both sides and it seats with an O-ring. That just so hydraulic fluid stays within the system. All right, now if we come over this system, three position valve, it's the same way. So we've got our actuator, but this is a manual actuator now. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's a little, yeah, you can't see in there. There's a ball valve that connects into the back of this, into this valve. So it's just a ball that fits in there that allows this valve to operate. Now the way this flow works is it's in neutral. It flows in one direction. As you actuate the, the valve, it flows in one direction. And as you pull it, it activates the other. It reverse the operation of it. It's a three position valve. Neutral, one, two. Two position valve is neutral and on. But it has some of the similar characteristics. Pull this out for you. Ah tight fit on these valves. Some of the characteristics of this valve is that it does have, it has galleys for the, for the filter to go. This is bigger for the fluid to go. But it also has a return spring. It's a little bit stronger. Um, that's pretty much it. Hydraulic valves are really easy. Uh, this has a pressure relief valve on the end of this. This is pressure relief, which be, it has a, uh, in through one side, out the other, all the uh, valley, uh, all the ports work on hydraulic fluid. But the pressure relief, so if, as the pressure builds, it relieve pressure through the system. So you can't over pressurize the system. Uh, again, they're pretty simple. All valves are pretty much the same. Well, these are just, these are just uh, some of the common ones: three position and two position valves. I hope you learned something. Uh, hydraulic fluid is the same throughout all systems depending on how uh, the manufacturer uses. Again, they're not difficult. If you have any questions, put them down below. Thanks.